everyone so here I'm going to explain you what is fraction so a fraction is a word which we're going to use in everyday life okay directly or indirectly but what is a fraction so fraction is actually a part of a whole thing that is a definition of fraction but how so let me write down the definition first so it is a part of a whole thing so how many parts are present in a whole thing is called as a fraction for example here I have a pizza so I might have bought a pizza before so what I've seen that the pizza maker we're going to divide the pizza into equal parts okay so in fraction the parts has to be equal here it is not like one part is greater than other no so this is my whole pizza so whole pizza I have divided into one two three four five six six parts okay now if I ask you suppose you ate a two slice of pizza then how much pieces are left or how much pizza is left so two slice means suppose uh, you had this part and you had this slice two slice you have eight how much pizza is left so here the whole pizza is divided into six parts so here you're gonna write six here in the bottom and how many parts are left one two three four so four upon six or four by six so here this slash what you see it's called by or upon so four by six pizza is left now if i ask you how much part you ate so i ate one and two so two out of six parts right i have ate two pieces out of the six pieces so i ate two upon six pizza and four upon six pizza is left okay now one more thing the number what you write in the numerator or the on the top is called as numerator and the number which you write at the bottom is called as denominator remember that again one more example okay suppose i have a watermelon now how many pieces we have made the whole watermelon so we have made total four pieces yes in that suppose i ask you how many parts you ate how many pieces you ate I have we have made four pieces of this watermelon suppose uh, you ate this part this part and this part three slice or three parts you ate how many parts are left so out of four one part is still left so the fraction will become one upon four okay and how much you ate we ate here out of four we ate three parts so the fraction become three upon four or three by four Similarly, you can see in the lemon also. So lemon is made into how many parts? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight parts. Now suppose we have removed uh, three parts. This three parts. And how many parts are left? Then one, two, three, four, five, five. So five upon eight. So this is how the fraction fraction is being represented. Now if you see the other here, other part. Okay. This part, if you see here. Do you consider this figures to be a fraction? Can we represent fraction for this figures? This four? No. Why? If you observe here, the pizza is not equally distributed or not equally divided. You can see that this slice is greater than this slice. So in fraction, it has to be divided into equal parts. Even circle also, this is greater than this. Triangle also, you can see the parts are not equal yes so that this for example this are not an example of fraction okay they are not example i have taken one more example so here you can see the watermelon uh, how much a part of watermelon is left so here there, there were four uh, four parts of four slice of watermelon out of that three slice are left or three parts are left so the fraction become three upon four so that's it. I hope it's clear what is fraction. So in case you have a question or doubt, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.